Yes, my friend, here we are now, me, myself, Marius, my assistant Dustin, and the cameraman Maximus at the peak of our knowledge on the spine-chilling urban legend that is the Thames. We achieved that by doing a year of doing researches and traveling. Now, before we start an adventure, uh, we must warn people that this may traumatize many of you. So, anyone under 14, we suggest you stop watching this right now. Although, before bringing you with us on the hunt, we must show you a truly terrific clip that we recorded through our traveling years of a witness telling us his story, but he's going to stay anonymous because he's still in fear that the beast may come back. So, if I am not wrong, you've seen at least once in your life the time. Yes. Then, I'd like you to tell us your story, if of course that's fine by you. Yes, it's... it's okay. Three years ago, me and my family were really tired, so me and my wife put the kids to sleep and called it a night. At about 4 a.m., I woke up because my wife got out of bed. I then proceeded to put the bed sheets over my head to get back to sleep when I woke her up. I apologized and told her I thought she got out of bed. That's when my, my wife saw him. She then hid behind me. I then saw it too. The Tamas was at the head of our bed. It looked like a mix between a naked man and a large hairless dog. It was positioned in a disturbed, unnatural way, like it was hit by a car. Then crawled until it was right next to my wife's face. They both stared at each other for about 30 seconds before it ran to our kid's room. I screamed and ran, to planning to stop him before he hurt my children. When I opened the light switch and saw the Tamas covered in blood and my daughter badly injured, she then said, He is the Tamas. The Tamas ran away, and my wife drove her car into the lake that night while driving our daughter to the hospital. Both died that night. I then started my own research, which included recording my room at night to see if he came back, which he did. On the record, we can hear him say something even though I can't listen to his shrill voice long enough to know what he said. I haven't let anyone listen to it. I haven't seen it since it ruined my life. But I know he came back and I'm truly terrorized by the idea I might wake up someday to him staring at me. You see people, this is why you need to know the truth. Okay, we are currently in a forest where uh, there have been numerous signs of the Tamaz beast. But uh, the only problem is, many people have come into the forest but I've never come out alive to prove it. So, it is uh, our duty to be the first people to escape the forest alive with footage of the Tamaz to show everybody that it really exists. So that said, uh, we'll continue the adventure and we will keep you all updated. So the scientists are further into the forest, but I found this note that I am going to read to you. As I prepare to take my own life, I feel the need to remove any guilt that is into this action. It is not my fault nor yours, it's only his. Once I awoke and felt its presence, the next day I awoke and saw its form. The last day I awoke and saw his eyes and heard his voice. I am now too afraid of knowing what I next awake to. I cannot awake anymore. Goodbye. The note also says, Dearest Annabelle, he spoke your voice. I am praying for you. I'm going to report this to the scientists as soon as possible. Thank God you're here. We just found this marine entries log that reports Tamaz would have come to him in his sleep. It says that he was at the head of his bed and that he told him to leave and never come back. It then says that the mariner left and took everything. Whatever thing he refers to is still unknown though. He then left and never came back. No dice, no, no. Oh shoot, shoot. Uh, stop, stop. We gotta bail real fast out of here. Yes. Well, we just kind of uh, escaped that uh, Tomas beast alive and non injured, surprisingly. And uh, since it's midnight, uh, how about we start out the day with a, with a joke? A joke. Right after we almost died. Yeah, sure. Let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, <clears throat> let's see. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the idiot's house? Not not. Who's there? The chicken. <laughs> I tell you how we're doomed. So, uh, after a bit of searching, we found another clue. Yay! Another journal entry uh, from another poor man or woman or child, whatever. They came into this, these woods and never came out, sadly. And it, and it says, I've experienced it. There is fear known to mankind so far. Oh yeah, I've experienced it. 
I see his eyes and I close mine. Oh, they are... I can't read the rest. I fear our lives are in danger. We yeah, really gotta leave this we have place. No we are now trying to escape the forest. It is two in the morning, and I think we're lost. Please, if anyone finds this, give everything to my cats, not my wife, my cats. Oh shoot, have you seen that? Nope. Uh, I'm probably just going crazy. Oh shoot! 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 Mathis isn't with us anymore. He probably isn't dead. We probably just lost him. Every time I close my eyes, I can see his hollow eyes. I can feel his presence. We are doomed sooner than I thought. We're already dead. He just didn't come for us yet. Alright, listen. If we want to find Mattis, we have to go both our ways. We'll have a much better chance to find him like that. You're sure that's safe? It's not safe, but at least if we'll be able to find him, we might be able to save him. Well, okay then. Let's do this. Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm still looking for Mattis and... Welp, that didn't sound good. I lost Dustin too. I think they're probably both dead. I saw his eyes in the bush earlier. They haunt me. His body looks like every one of his bones has been rolled over by a truck. And the way he moves. I'm just going crazy. This is just way too... I gotta get out of here, or this is, or else this is the end of me. I saw him. He's running towards me. I'm probably gonna die soon if I don't find the exit. I see him more often now. Probably too late for me. But remember, don't come out at night. Thank you.